Hey there guys, it's me Green Beret Airsoft and I'm coming at you with a video here on my new HFC M11A1 gas blowback airsoft gun, also known as the Mac 11. Um, yeah, so let's get on to the box first. Uh, here's the box, it's, uh, it's a decent size, um, but yeah, it's manufacturer of this gun is HFC. Um, uh, air model firearms, caliber 6mm, also known as 6mm, the size of the BBs, so yeah, right there, um, yeah, nothing really too special about this box, I mean, it just talks about the semi-auto, semi-auto fire, you know, and, um, auto and semi, SMG, Nothing too special. Consumer warning. That might be somewhat special, but I'm not going to read it. Anyhow, let's get to the review. All right, here we go. I'm going to unbox this sucker. There we have her. The Mac 11. So, yeah, let's get to the gun first. Here we are. Um, the body here, um, this part of the body, as I'm running my line to, um, this part is the, uh, this is kind of, I would say it's, it's plastic, however, um, yeah, basically the whole body here is pretty much plastic. Um, all the inter internals are metal. Um, this barrel, the barrel tip here is metal, triggers metal, thus, um, however, the handle is plastic, the stock is metal, um, yeah, as I said before, all the... Basically, the exterior here is plastic, which is a downfall. However, that's pretty much what you have to expect when you get a $115 gun. However, its price is very good for this gun. I really enjoy this gun. So, yeah, let's get on to basically an in-depth review here. Um, here's the safety. Um, the safety right here. It's on safe and uh, fire. Um, Basically, to move them, you just simply just nudge them. I've seen there. Just easily nudge. There, there's fire. You know. Um, here, let's get on to the stock. Here we have the stock. It's full metal, which um, if you like um, to have a shoulder rest, it's pretty good for you. Um, so, yeah, basically to open it, you're basically just going to squeeze uh, this part and that part together like so. You're squeezing it, and then you're going to pull back till it locks into place, and then you're going to press this button on the bottom there, and it is going to come out. As you see there, we're going to pull it till it locks into place. There we have it. Um, there's the stock. It's kind of wobbly. That's why I don't really use it that much, as you can see there. I mean, that's kind of what you have to expect when you get a gas SMG. I mean, SMGs are more for like automatic pistol use rather than a stocked weapon. So I don't really use the stock that much. I'm just more of a pull that out. This is like my secondary kind of weapon. So yeah, I'll just put this back. And you simply to put it back, just simply push the button, push it and pull, push that in again, and then squeeze the two knobs and it's there. All right. Um, yeah, the tip here has some nozzles or grooves, should I say, for the extended barrel, which I'll get to later. Um, here we have um, basically kind of like, it's like swivelly, but um, you attach um, a sling to it from here to, I would say, probably there. And you would basically hold your gun over your sling if you like to do that. I don't, but, I mean, I never did it before, but... I'm more of just uh, put this in my holster, but yeah, it's metal, which is pretty good. But yeah, it kind of get, gets annoying with uh, constant movement, and um, that kind of pro prohibits you from basically holding this part of the gun if you like to do that, because this is basically annoying. So that's probably one downfall. I don't really like that. But um, here, um, here are the sights. Basically, not very accurate. Simply just aim through this part, through here, and, uh, yeah, I would probably rather just shoot like that. I would not aim. I mean, you probably should aim, but 
it's not very accurate, as I like to say. Um, yeah, so basically to load your mag in, you're simply going to pull this nozzle back, like so. This opens up this compartment here. Get your mag, which I'll get into 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 depth right now. Um, it's full metal, probably weighs a good pound. Insert your gas there. Um, basically, it's a normal gas mag. It's very big. I like it. It's nice and heavy. Um, in order to load BBs, you're simply going to pull this spring down until it locks to the bottom. Um, you're going to get your speed loader, which is right here. Going to attach that, like so. And you're going to pour your BBs down there, and they'll line up woo, to the top. And then to get your mag ready, you're simply, there's a small button right down there that you're going to press right there. There I have it. It's going to launch up, um, and your mag's ready. So, yeah, in order to um, insert that into your gun, you're simply going to pull that back, pull this back, as I said. Simply just going to insert it right there. It's locked and loaded. And right now, it probably weighs a good pound and a half. The mag gives it most, most of its weight. Um, yeah, uh, the feel is great. The old Mac 11, if you want to go, go gangster style, as I like to say, pull this sucker out, spray the crowd, and you're good. So, yeah, let's get on to the extended barrel. Um, here it is. Uh, this is pure plastic. Nothing really to it. I, I, I do like to use this in CQB, as it does make it accurate. Well, not accurate, I should say. I should say more accurate. And most people will like say, like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Well, technically, it does, because technically, um, with this on, here, I'm just going to take this out. So with this on, basically, this adds a more, le more length to your gun, and like this gives it basically, the BB, more of a chance to travel through the barrel, basically keeping it in line, because it is six millimeters, keeping it in line to go off target, which, to go on to its target. And it makes it, it does make it more accurate. Not not precise, but it's more accurate as it would be with just this part. So, yeah, overall, it's a pretty good gun here. Um, I'll just set it down right there. Put the, pull the box out of the way. There we go. Set it down right there. And um, overall, great gun. Uh absolutely perfect I like it I give it a good 9 out of 10 downfalls would be it's plastic body um, it's a uh, wobbly stock um, the annoying little sling attachment and uh, yeah that just a uh, just the plastic body is the big part um, but before I forget the FPS here it's um, I got it chromed on 11 16 13 at my uh, local airsoft place, um, it's 323. However, it is marketed at 350, and usually the marketing isn't correct. Usually, most of the time, um, it's usually like just like kind of like they usually round up. But however, 323 is pretty good for a good gas blowback. Um, yeah, I forgot to say how to take the mag out. You're simply just going to press this button right here and then pull out, which is kind of a hard process, but there we go. So, yes, um, I got this for off of Airsoft GI for um, 115 um, Great deal. I would definitely recommend this gun to anyone interested in a uh, gas blowback. It's, it's quite great I, I like it a lot for CQB because CQB is my favorite type of airsoft so yeah overall 9 out of 10 thank you guys for watching and check out my blog and subscribe like this video and comment what you think about the HFC Mac 11 so yeah thank you guys and see you later on my next video